This might be disturbing, but some black actors have died after leaving an undying legacy. Yet people do not know when they died and how they died. You might have a favorite black actor you have not seen for quite a long time, and he might be dead. Leaving the matter of why their deaths are less reported, you must know the black actors that are no more, but their legacy will live forever. But what are the black actors and actresses we are talking about? You might not have expected these black actors dead. Welcome to a new episode of Black Culture Diary, a channel where we talk about the people that are ancestors of and superior to everyone, the black. We scrutinize history here to bring the black culture back on the surface again. In this episode, we will tell you about the famous black actors who are no more, but you do not know that. We will also see the work they did that lives to this day. Let's get started. Number five, Michelle Doris Thomas. Michelle Thomas, a beautiful and talented actress, appeared in many movies and sitcoms such as The Cosby Show and Family Matters. Born in Brooklyn, Massachusetts, Michelle was raised by parents who were both actors and musicians. Her father was a saxophonist and founding member of Cool and The Gang. Michelle showed interest in acting from a young age. Her mother was her first acting coach. Michelle won the Miss Talented Teen New Jersey pageant and was crowned Miss Talented Teen International in Montego Bay, Jamaica at the age of 15. Michelle's first television commercial role was in 1983, and she later appeared in Soul Train with Hal Jackson. She landed a role in The Cosby Show, acting as Theo Huxtable's girlfriend and appearing in other television shows such as A Man Called Hawk and Thea. Michelle's amazing voice also got her roles in music videos for artists like Mint Condition and Chub Rock, and she was a guest host in Soul Train. In 1993, Michelle got a role in Family Matters and played the character of Myra Monkhouse for five years. At the end of the sitcom, she started dating Steve Urkel. She also had a role in the daytime soap The Young and the Restless, where she acted as an aspiring singer and the love interest of Malcolm Winters. Unfortunately, Michelle was diagnosed with rare cancer in 1997 and had to take a break from acting. She underwent surgery to remove the tumor in 1998, but a few months later, a cancerous growth ruptured and she had another surgery. Sadly, Michelle passed away on December 23, 1998, at the age of 30. She was buried in New Jersey after a Muslim funeral was held for her, as she had requested before her death. Before we continue further, tell us, do you love the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on black culture, history, civilization, and natural superiority. Let's continue now. Number four, Wiley Hughes Draper, Jr. Wiley Hughes. Draper Jr. is remembered for his iconic portrayal of pop legend Michael Jackson in the television miniseries, The Jacksons and American Dream. Draper began dancing and skating with his brother Desmond at a young age in West Virginia. After college, he worked as a dancer at Disney World and landed his big break by auditioning for the role of Michael in the 1992 film. But despite the movie's success, Draper didn't receive many film or TV offers after that. He did, however, get invited by Michael Jackson to dance in the music video for Remember the Time. Sadly, Draper was diagnosed with a rare form of leukemia at the age of 24 and passed away in Los Angeles in 1993. His family set up the Wiley Draper Foundation in his name, which supports young artists and raises awareness for bone marrow donation in the African-American community. Although his career was cut short, Draper's portrayal of Michael Jackson remains a memorable achievement and his legacy lives on through his foundation. Number three, Artemis Lamont Bentley. Artemis Lamont Bentley, an actor beloved by audiences for his exceptional performances, was known for his roles as Hakeem Campbell in the UPN sitcom Moesha and Crazy K in the horror film Tales from the Hood. Born on October 25, 1973 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Lamont was the son of Lois Bentley and Donald L. Garderson. After some time in Milwaukee, he moved to Los Angeles with his mother, Lois, who wished to pursue a career as a professional singer. Lamont grew up loving cinema and was drawn to acting. He started practicing signing autographs at the early age of 12 and dropped out of high school to pursue his passion for acting. Lamont worked at movie theaters, fish markets, and grocery stores while practicing acting roles in his free time. He later landed small roles in various television series and movies, but Lamont's career took off until his breakthrough role in the critically acclaimed South Central in 1994. Lamont's first feature film role was in the 1995 horror movie Tales from the Hood, which portrayed the inner city ganglands and showed the gang lifestyle. He gave an impressive performance in South Central, 
which led to an acting role in the series Moesha. Lamont played the role of Hakeem Campbell, the always hungry friend of Moesha, in the show that ran for six seasons on UPN. After Moesha ended, Lamont continued to pursue acting while exploring his talent for rapping. He partnered with March Meeks, a.k.a. Cartier, and Tyson Pearson Typhoon to form the recording group Uprise. He was also featured as Sea Money in the 2001 movie The Wash, featuring Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. Lamont's last screen appearance was in Spike Lee's crime drama Sucker Free City. Sadly, Lamont's life came to an end due to a tragic accident. He was driving alone on Highway 118 near Simi Valley in Ventura County when his car oversped towards the Rocky Peak Fire Road off-ramp. Witnesses reported that Lamont's car ran through a stop sign, sped through a chain-link fence, and went down an embankment. Lamont was ejected from the vehicle into traffic and was struck by five cars. According to the autopsy report, he suffered multiple injuries on different body parts and was pronounced dead at exactly 12.23 a.m., a memorial service was held for Lamont at Serenity Funeral Home in his hometown of Milwaukee, and he was buried at Forest Lawn Memorial Park, Hollywood Hills. Lamont's contributions to film and television will always be remembered, and his untimely death was a great loss to the entertainment industry. Number 2. Shirley Ann Hemphill Meet Shirley Ann Hemphill, a talented comedian and actress born in Asheville, North Carolina, in 1947. She attended Morristown College, where she majored in physical education, but her true passion was stand-up comedy. At a young age, she recorded a series of her comedies and sent the cassette tape to Flip Wilson. He was impressed with her routine and invited her to the Flip Wilson show, which helped her kickstart her career. In 1976, Shirley's stand-up routine started gaining popularity, and she caught the attention of a casting agent who offered her a guest role on Good Times. Norman Lear, who was impressed by her performance, later offered her a major role in a spin-off series, but she turned it down. Instead, she accepted a starring role in the ABC sitcom What's Happening, where she played the role of Shirley Wilson, a waitress. Unfortunately, the show was later canceled due to cast and production issues. Despite setbacks in her career, Shirley continued to work hard and make guest appearances in popular TV shows such as The Love Boat and Trapper John M.D. She was a regular performer at The Laugh Factory, and appeared on shows like The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Carson and BT's Black Comedy Showcase. In 1999, Shirley Ann Hemphill's rise to fame was cut short by an unfortunate and unexpected death. She was found dead at her home in West Covina, California, after almost two weeks of being out of sight. An autopsy confirmed that she had died of kidney failure. Although her time in the spotlight was short-lived, Shirley Ann Hemphill left a lasting legacy in the world of comedy and acting. Number 1. Fred Rerun Barry Fred Rerun Barry was a remarkable actor who captivated American audiences with his performances in popular shows such as Saturday Night Live and Soul Train. From a young age, he grew up in St. Louis, Missouri, and had a passion for acting and dancing. As a member of the Los Angeles-based dance troupe, The Lockers, he showcased his talents on shows like Saturday Night Live. However, Barry gained widespread recognition for portraying Freddie Rerun Stubbs on the ABC sitcom What's Happening?, alongside Shirley Ann Hemphill. The show aired for three years, from 1976 to 1979, and it was where he earned his famous nickname, Rerun. He became known for his red beret, suspenders, and his dance moves, which he also performed with the lockers. Despite his success, Barry struggled with drugs and alcohol throughout his life. In an interview with People magazine, he revealed that he became a millionaire at the age of 29, but the stress of success led him to turn to drugs and alcohol. He battled addiction for many years and attempted to take his life on three occasions. However, he eventually recovered and found solace in attending church. He later became a motivational speaker and even became a Baptist minister. Barry was married four times and had three children. Sadly, he passed away on October 21, 2003, at the age of 52, after suffering a stroke and was buried at the Forest Lawn Memorial Park in the Hollywood Hills of Los Angeles. Despite his struggles, Barry's legacy as an actor, dancer, and motivational speaker lives on, and he remains a beloved figure in American popular culture. Was there any black actor or actress on the list which you didn't expect is dead? Can you name a black actor we mentioned whom you watched acting in your childhood or teenage days? Do let us know in the comment section right below. Shouldn't these black actors be paid tributes every year on their death anniversaries? Yes just the same way as one would do for some noble personalities. 
These are the people who set precedents for black actors that came after them. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We bring videos on something nobody is talking about. The black culture, civilization, history, and the evidence proving black superiority. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.